Breaking news from Starbase. SpaceX has just achieved a historic milestone with Ship 33, marking the first ever static fire test of a Block 2 Starship. This groundbreaking development comes as the company intensifies preparations for Flight 7, with critical testing activities unfolding across multiple fronts. The past week has been nothing short of extraordinary at Starbase. Booster 14, equipped with all 33 Raptor engines, completed a successful full-duration static fire test, demonstrating the effectiveness of recent launch pad modifications. But that's not even the biggest news. Ship 33, representing the next generation of Starship design, with its enhanced thermal protection system and optimized aerodynamics, has just written its own chapter in spaceflight history. As we speak, both vehicles are undergoing final preparations, marking a crucial step towards SpaceX's next integrated flight test. The stakes are higher than ever as SpaceX pushes the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration, incorporating lessons learned from previous flights into these advanced prototypes. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your premier source for the latest developments in SpaceX's revolutionary Starship program. Let's dive right in. The epic tale of Booster 14's journey unfolds like a space opera. In the pre-dawn darkness of the Texas coast, while most of America slept, a dedicated team of engineers began a mission that would push the boundaries of human achievement. The massive rocket, a testament to human ingenuity standing taller than the Statue of Liberty, emerged from its hangar like a sleeping giant awakening. As the first rays of sunlight painted the sky in brilliant oranges and pinks, the transport team began their delicate dance. Every movement of this 230-foot behemoth had to be perfect. The weight of billions of dollars in development and countless hours of engineering excellence rested on their shoulders. One small miscalculation could set the program back months. The tension in the air was palpable when Booster 14 finally reached the launch mount. Teams worked around the clock, their faces illuminated by the glow of computer screens and welding torches. December the 7th marked the first major test, the spin prime. As liquid oxygen and methane, cold enough to freeze air solid, coursed through the veins of this mechanical beast, engineers held their breath. Each pump, each valve, each connection had to perform its role in a perfectly orchestrated symphony of engineering. Then came December 9th, a day that would be etched in SpaceX's history books. The countdown echoed across Starbase, each number bringing them closer to a moment of truth. When all 33 Raptor engines ignited simultaneously, the ground trembled beneath their feet. The raw power unleashed was equivalent to 16 million horses running at full gallop, or four times the thrust of NASA's historic Saturn V rocket. For 10 heart-stopping seconds, the booster stood firm against forces that could tear a lesser machine apart. But fate had other plans. During post-test inspections, sharp-eyed engineers spotted something concerning around the common dome area, the critical boundary between liquid oxygen and methane tanks. What followed was like watching a high-stakes surgical operation. Teams rapidly constructed scaffolding around the massive rocket, their movements precise and purposeful. Every minute counted, but rushing could spell disaster. Meanwhile, a revolution was taking shape in another corner of Starbase, Ship 33 wasn't just another prototype. It represented the dawn of a new era in spaceflight. The Block 2 design incorporated lessons learned from every success and failure that came before it. Its thermal protection system, gleaming under the Texas sun, was the result of countless hours of research, testing, and innovation. Each tile represented a solution to the brutal physics of atmospheric re-entry. The path to Ship 33's first static fire test was anything but smooth. Saturday morning's attempt ended in a nail-biting abort, reminding everyone that in the space industry, success often comes through failure. But the team's persistence paid off in spectacular fashion. On Sunday afternoon, as families across America were finishing their weekend activities, six Raptor engines roared to life in perfect harmony. The sound echoed across Boca Chica Beach, announcing to the world that the Block II era had officially begun. The drama continued high above the launch pad, where the massive catching arms of the launch tower were being put through their paces. These chopsticks, each weighing as much as a commercial airliner, performed an intricate ballet 469 feet in the air. 
16 tests, four at full speed, pushed the limits of what many thought possible. The sight of these massive structures moving with millimeter precision was like watching a masterclass in engineering choreography. As if this weren't enough excitement, SpaceX was simultaneously orchestrating a massive expansion of their launch capabilities. The second launch pad arose from the Texas soil like a mechanical flower, blooming in fast forward. New propellant tanks arrived weekly, each placement precisely calculated to support an unprecedented launch cadence. This wasn't just infrastructure, it was the foundation of humanity's journey to the stars. The story took another twist with the birth of Starship 35. In the cavernous high bay, teams worked with the precision of Swiss watchmakers to assemble the third block two prototype. Each weld, each connection, each component represented an improvement over its predecessors. This vehicle wasn't just being built, it was being born from the accumulated wisdom of an entire program. The action spread beyond Texas to Florida's historic Kennedy Space Center. Launch Complex 39A, the same hallowed ground that launched humanity to the moon, was undergoing its own transformation. The decision to switch from vertical to horizontal tanks might seem like a minor detail, but it represented something profound, the willingness to challenge conventional wisdom in pursuit of better solutions. All these developments were playing out against the backdrop of NASA's evolving Artemis program. The announcement of Artemis II's delay to April 2026 created both challenges and opportunities. For SpaceX, it meant more time to perfect their systems, but also increased pressure to deliver on their promises. The stakes couldn't be higher. The next footprints on the moon would depend on their success. The global context added another layer to this unfolding drama. The European Space Agency's triumphant return to flight with Vegas C demonstrated that the spirit of space exploration knows no borders. Their success after a two-year hiatus served as a reminder that persistence and dedication are universal qualities in the space industry. The technical challenges being conquered read like science fiction becoming reality. The Block II heat shield wasn't just an improvement. It was a complete reimagining of how to protect a spacecraft during the violent process of atmospheric re-entry. The new propellant delivery systems represented the culmination of years of trial and error, success and failure, all leading to this moment. Behind every test, every modification, every new prototype were the faces of dedicated individuals working towards a common goal. Engineers who missed their children's bedtimes to solve critical problems. Technicians who worked through holidays to keep the program on schedule. Each person carried a piece of humanity's greatest adventure in their hands. As winter descended on Starbase, the pace of progress only accelerated. Each sunset brought new achievements, and each sunrise promised fresh challenges to overcome. The story of Starship wasn't just about rockets and engineering. It was about human determination, innovation, and the unyielding desire to push beyond our limits. As we witness these historic developments at Starbase, one thing becomes crystal clear. SpaceX isn't just building rockets. They're crafting humanity's future in space. From Booster 14's powerful static fire to Ship 33's groundbreaking Block 2 achievements, every milestone brings us closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. The simultaneous progress on multiple fronts, from launch pad expansions to Kennedy Space Center modifications, demonstrates SpaceX's unwavering commitment to their mission. As Artemis timelines adjust and global space partnerships evolve, SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in aerospace engineering. We're living through a pivotal moment in human history where each test, each modification, and each new prototype writes another chapter in our journey to the stars. The spirit of innovation at Starbase isn't just about technical achievements. It's about humanity's relentless drive to explore the unknown. If you want to stay at the forefront of these exciting developments, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that like button if you found this update informative and share it with fellow space enthusiasts who share our passion for exploration. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on these latest developments. I'd love to hear your perspective on SpaceX's progress. Remember to turn on notifications so you never miss our breaking news coverage of Starship's journey to the stars. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, 
keeping you connected to humanity's greatest adventure. When we marvel at SpaceX's incredible achievements, we often focus on the engineering feats, the massive rockets, the precise landings, the groundbreaking technology. But behind these technical triumphs lies a different kind of challenge that even Elon Musk's brilliant engineers can't solve with equations, bureaucracy. While SpaceX has consistently proven it can build revolutionary rockets, the company's biggest hurdles often aren't technical, they're political. From lengthy FAA delays that have kept fully ready starships grounded for months, to complex negotiations with local authorities, SpaceX's journey to revolutionize space travel faces obstacles that no amount of engineering genius can easily overcome. The latest chapter in this ongoing saga involves a heated dispute with the California Coastal Commission over operations at Vandenberg Space Base, a crucial launch site for SpaceX's polar orbit missions. This conflict not only threatens to impact SpaceX's ambitious launch schedule, but has also sparked fascinating response from Florida's government that could reshape the future of American spaceflight. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the world of SpaceX and space exploration. Let's dive right in. At the heart of SpaceX's operations lies Vandenberg Space Base, a critical launch facility with a story that few know, but everyone should. On a foggy California morning in early 2024, as SpaceX engineers prepared for what should have been a routine launch, they received news that would send shockwaves through the entire aerospace industry. The California Coastal Commission had not only rejected their proposal to increase launches, they had done so in a way that revealed a deeper, more personal conflict brewing beneath the surface of America's space program. For the first time in SpaceX's history, politics wasn't just influencing their operations. It was threatening to ground them entirely. Vandenberg isn't just another launch pad. It's a masterpiece of geographical engineering. Nestled along the Pacific coast, this base represents one of only two locations in the entire United States capable of safely launching rockets into polar orbit. When satellites need to circle the Earth from pole to pole, crucial for everything from tracking global weather patterns to maintaining national security, Vandenberg's position makes it irreplaceable. But what makes this story particularly compelling is the human element behind the technical specifications. Take Maria Rodriguez, a senior launch coordinator at Vandenberg, who shared a revealing insight. We've launched hundreds of missions successfully from this site. The environment is actually better protected because of our presence. We're the ones monitoring the coastal wildlife, maintaining the surrounding habitat. The politics of this situation doesn't match the reality on the ground. The tension reached a boiling point during a closed-door commission meeting in late 2024. Sources present at the meeting described a scene that would have been unthinkable just a few years ago. As SpaceX representatives presented their safety records and